something new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight So when Indy turned one week old It was time for mum to kind of get her stuff together and write her first to-do list since before Indy was born so I was catching up on a little bit of TV and also writing my to-do list for the week whilst Indy was sleeping. Hi everyone, um, welcome back to another vlog and welcome to our first vlog with a baby so it's been a week now since i had a little baby in day she is literally a week old in like 10 hours um it's currently what time is it it's 20 to 11 on tuesday morning so she was born last tuesday at 20 past 8 pm um so i just thought what i would do is like a week in the life vlog um just like the first sort of week with a newborn i know it's not the first week because last week was the first week but i definitely was not ready to get the camera out last week so i just thought i would vlog for like a week and just vlog little bits here and there um so it'll be a very random vlog very mixed so I'm just sat having snuggles while Casper is at nursery because I thought what I'm going to do, obviously it's not going to work like this all the time, but on a Monday and a Tuesday when Casper's at nursery, I'm just going to make the most of having indie snuggles and um, just chilling out a little bit, doing a little bit of work here and there. And then when I've got Casper on my own, she's going to have to be put down a little bit more in her Moses basket, her bouncer, or wearing her on a, on the sling, um, just so that I can obviously give Casper my attention. But I don't want her to miss out on like the baby cuddles that Casper got, so I thought I would make the most of it when he's not here. So I'm just watching Married at First Sight, because all my friends bang on about it. And to be honest, until this point, I just didn't really find the time to watch TV, because even though Casper goes to nursery two days a week, I always, I'm just doing things that are productive. But I feel like when you've got a baby, you just don't have as much pressure to be productive. Um, so she's been asleep for about three hours, which you forget how much newborns sleep, don't you? Um, is that a little windy smile? I am gonna go in the shower soon, because we are actually gonna go to Meta Hall this afternoon. Um, and just get out the house, do a little bit of shopping. I want to get Casper some new clothes. Oh! Um, I'm just going to look through her drawers as well and just see what I need. I think I need some more long-sleeved bodysuits um, to fit her, like, now. Um, and I need, um, I need a few bits from Boots as well, like baby bits. So I'm hoping they have some there. The only thing is, I'm waiting on this like family thing. People come in. Um, never had them with Casper, but I'm guessing it's because it was lockdown. My friend said that they had them with their first, that were born like before lockdown. Um, and I don't really know what it is. I guess it's a bit like a social worker, but kind of not. They just come in to like look at your house and see that you're safe. But they said they'd be coming between nine and one p.m., which is just nine a.m. and one p.m., which is just. The worst time ever, isn't it? Because I don't want to sit here till 1pm. So what I'm going to do is go and get ready um, in like 10 minutes. Just go and have a shower. Um, and hopefully then when they get here, I'm ready to go anywhere. And we'll literally just go and leave the house. Uh, Josh is just in our garage gym training. So even if they come while I'm in the shower... Um, at least he can answer the door. So yeah, I'm going to go and get ready. Um, although she needs feeding really but she's still asleep so I'm not going to wake her up I'm just going to put her in the bouncer while I go in the shower and then I will just start getting changed um, 
and yeah get ready to go we need to be back home for 4 p.m so we don't we won't have loads of time there but to be fair all i want to do is literally just go go to boots go to zara um just have a little pot a little push in her new pram and just yeah just get out of the house and do things that we did when we had casper like josh had a bit of time off work and we just did the odd little thing um, i'm feeling loads better today as well because I had really bad hemorrhoids from my labour, which you will have seen my labour vlog because that will definitely go live before this does. Um, I'm going to try and film that on Thursday when Casper's with my mum and get it edited and get it up for Friday. Um, so hopefully you'll see that, well, I'll say you see that in three days, but you will not see this before that, but you'll see it three days from now, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable, so I'm feeling like I can definitely walk around Hall for a few hours. So even if we have to leave at like one o'clock, which I'm really hoping we don't, I'm hoping these women get here before then, um, then we'll have a few hours. But it's just really annoying, I said to Josh, like I think it's really bad that they expect you to stay in your house like all morning because you've just had a new baby. Like it's draining, well it's not draining, but it's hard as it is and you know getting out of the house does you a world of good so just making you sit in your house all day i just think surely it's not good for mum's mental health like just sat here waiting basically um if we weren't waiting we would have probably been there now or on our way so yeah um i'm gonna go get changed go get dressed and we'll catch up soon So time to get this little madam dressed, she's had this baby grow on all night um, and it's literally like quarter past 11 now so um, I'm just trying to get her dressed in a room as much as possible just so that she gets used to being in here and obviously because it's such a nice girly room um, I just really like coming in here so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit and do my makeup in the car on the way to Meadow Hall so that I've just got time to do other bits now. Um, I hate having my hair like this when I've got no makeup on. But I like it when I've got makeup on. Shall we go get you some food? Yeah. <gasps> What's that? <laughs> she says, oh my goodness, what is that in my face? <laughs> she's got so much less hair than Casper on the top. But then on the back, she's got quite a lot. Um, but yeah, the top... She didn't get as much hair growth as Casper in that department, did you, darling? He's still a bit yellow as well. Um, I absolutely love these White Company newborn little rompers. I've got this little um, like double set as well and this little cardigan. This cardigan's obviously to go with that, but I might just put it on today. Although, no, I think she'll be fine inside. little pink hat to wear in the car. Um... Should put these little booties on. No, your feet are absolutely tiny, honey. Socks. In fact, I'm going to put some pink socks on that we have in the um, washing basket. So, we're just en route to Meadow Hall now um, to have our first little day out with baby Indy. So, she's in the back of the car. She's still got her eyes open. <laughs> um, so we didn't actually wait for these people to come to our house because it got to quarter past 12 and they'd still not come so i just thought i'm not staying in for another 45 minutes they could literally rock up at one o'clock and then it stops us from having a day out so just thought we're not doing it if they ring me i'll just say that we had plans and we needed to get out of the house um but i'm sure it's not illegal to not be in the house when you get told you've got an appointment um, like I said, never even had one with Casper, so it can't be that important, really. Done my makeup for the first time properly since I've had Indy. I put some on the other day, but I think I literally just put, like, mascara and eyebrows on, but I've actually put, like, foundation and stuff on. So, yeah, we're just going to have a few hours, because Josh needs to be back for four. We'll probably get there just before one, have, like, an hour and a half, two hours in Meadow Hall, and then come home. And then Josh will... He's just going to train a client and then he'll go get Casper. Um, and I've got a few jobs to do, so I might walk to the shop. 
because I've got a vintage parcel to post off and collect. So I might take Indy in the pram and walk to the shop and do that. Um, just depends how I feel down below after walking around Meadow Hall all afternoon. So we've just got back from Meadow Hall. Um, I didn't film anything there just because one, I forgot, standard, it's me. And two, I it was absolutely rammed. Obviously, it's like the half term. Um, so I only got one thing for myself and the rest of it is for Casper. So I just thought I would show you. Um, I've just got in some classic vans, old school vans. So Casper currently wears a size seven shoe. And he's only got three pairs, so he's got um, the black and white Panda Dunks, he's got some red and black Jordans, and some lilac checkerboard vans. But they are a very summery shoe, so he never wears them anymore, so I feel like he's only got two pairs of trainers. Um, he has got, an, I've bought him a new pair of Dunks in a size eight, but I don't think he's going to be in them for a while. So I got these in a seven and a half hoping that they'll fit him in the next like month or so just as like a bit of a transition trainer um, and they just go with everything don't they so we've got him a pair of those and then from Zara um, I've got him some black joggers with like little zips in he absolutely loves having pockets by the way so these are really like detailed they were quite expensive they were 14 99 but they look like a really good, a good robust pair of joggers. So they've got like a leather zip detailing and then they've got this like little green thing on here um, which I've got them mainly to go with the black jumper he's got and it says Casper on it in this colour so I thought they'd look really nice together. Uh, I'll just pick the baby up because she's crying. I've then got him some like cord trousers with like the turn ups at the bottom. I thought if they're a bit big we can turn them up even more but they've just got like a drawstring waist um, and I just thought they'd look really cool in winter with like a knitted jumper. He's got a few knitted jumpers that he's not worn yet obviously because it's not been cold enough. Um, even like his gilet, um, he's got some Timberland boots that they'd look really nice with and then I got this knitted t-shirt so just like a stripy knit t-shirt it's just like a really nice blue and cream colour got a little pocket on again um, but I thought they'd look really nice with the cords too so that's more of like a fancy going out slash t-shirt and then I just got him one of the basic tracksuits in this like dark grey navy colour um, I was going to get the forest green one but two of my friends little boys have that now and obviously we all see each other most Fridays so I just thought probably should avoid getting the forest green um, I did really want the chocolate brown one but they didn't have it in stock they do have it in stock online but obviously I was in store so I just went for this um, Hi! Hello! Are you having a poo poo? Yeah, so that's Casper's stuff, and then I've just got um, Indy a pack of vests in not to one month. Again, I know she's not going to be in them for very long at all because she's a week old already and they're literally not to one month, but she's very dinky. Um, so I do think they'll fit for at least another four weeks, and um, she just needs some more. We don't have enough long sleeve vests. So, and I just think with baby clothes you just can't wash them quick enough so you do actually need more than what you think and they were a ten, they were £10 so we've already got three in this size so what I'll do is I'll just sell them on Vinted as a six if they're all in good condition anyway so um, yeah got those for Indy little baby Indy and then for me I've just got this gorgeous knitted zip striped jumper from H&M you've probably seen it Um, I feel like everyone's got it but I just feel like it's one of them classic jumpers it'll go with leggings it'll go with jeans it goes with boots it goes with trainers Um, so yeah that's all I got for me Um, I say it's all I got I didn't really need anything but I saw this in stock cause it's not on it's not in stock online Um, so yeah I got it in a small cause it's really really oversized I probably could have got a medium but they didn't have any and also oh 
And Mum not giving you enough attention? No. Is she not giving you enough attention? Um, yeah, so I, I sort of put it against my body in the store and it goes over my bum. So I think I'll be fine with a small. Um, but yeah, that's my mini haul from Meda Hall. Um, I'm just about to walk to the shop with Indy now because I need to send a parcel off for Vinted and I need to collect one. And if I don't collect it by, I think it's like tomorrow, they'll send it back. So I need to go and do that now. I'm just hoping it's not going to rain. But I'm going to change my top. I'm just going to put a hoodie on. And I'm just going to put the rain cover for the baby zen in underneath just in case it does start raining. But the shop's literally five minutes away. Probably take me ten minutes with these stitches. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do that. And then we'll probably catch up tomorrow. So we're just getting ready to go pumpkin picking. Um, we're running late as always, but I'm sure that it won't matter too much. Just going to have to take my hair out. Um, probably do my makeup in the car because that is a standard occurrence. Now I'm a mum. I think grandma's here. Is that grandma? Grandma's coming too. Um, still need to get in dressed. <laughs> She's asleep on the bed in the bouncer. Um, but yeah, we're running late as always. As always. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I'm So we've just got back from pumpkin picking, um, well, literally over an hour ago now. And I'm trying to feed um, Inde, but she's not watching very well at all. She's just tired. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that we've had a few issues with her latching. Um, but she kind of overcame that and started latching fine because she was, I just think she was so tired and jaundiced that she just didn't want to do it. Um, but she's been asleep now. Well, put it this way, it's, what time is it? It's half one and she's not had proper food since 8 a.m. So this is what we're working with. I had to pump in the car on the way home from the pumpkin picking and I gave her like an ounce in the car, in the back of the car in a bottle. Cause she didn't wake up when we were there and then I was, and then she started crying when we put her in the car. So I just put some of the pumped milk in a bottle and gave her that. So she's literally had like an ounce of milk between 8 a.m. and now, and she's just asleep uh, without obviously showing you my nipple. So I'm gonna have to try and wake her up. But Josh has taken Casper swimming because he has his swimming lessons on a Wednesday. Um, I'll probably go and watch next week, but I just wanted to chill at home with her now and obviously she's not fed yet So I was just like I'm not gonna come So I'm just sat watching YouTube, just sat watching my girl Kate, if you don't follow her then you really need to um, I'm just watching one of her vlogs. Hopefully there's not too much background noise because the washing machine's on as well um, But when she feeds eventually I'm just gonna try and tidy up a little bit before Casper comes home because, let me just turn this down. In fact, I'll just pause it for now. Um, yeah, because Josh's mum is coming to bring Josh's nan uh, in about an hour. So I just want to sweep the floor. And I've just got so many presents to like put away. But it's just one of them, isn't it? Like, when do I do it? Where do I put them? I feel like I've got so much stuff. Her room's not even big enough. So I actually generally don't know where to put it. Um, pumpkin picking was good though. I didn't actually get that much footage, which I'm not surprised. I literally gave birth a week ago. <laughs> and um, I just kind of forgot. 
and Casper was having a good time bless him he was so tired as well he we stopped for a coffee on the way back um in the cafe we got him a toasted currant tea cake and he just was not interested at all he was just so tired he was nearly falling asleep at the table and then we put him in the car we were trying to work out how to fold the double pram and then by the time the three of us me josh and my mum had worked out how to fold the pram he was asleep in the car um so yeah he literally fell asleep in the car before we'd even driven anywhere so yeah not much on this afternoon just got josh's mum coming over um i've got my first hour with the kids on my own this afternoon while josh just goes and trains a client so that'll be interesting but i guess it'll just ease me in to life of a, as a mum of two because tomorrow morning josh will leave the house at half five and my mum won't get here till sort of half seven eight a.m for casper so it's just gonna be one of them mornings where i have to like work out how i'm gonna deal with it but i'm sure we'll manage Mummy and Casper just doing stickers. Come on then, let's finish doing stickers. You've got your monkeys. Oh. Look at the state of me. Right, are you vlogging? No. Let's say hello to the camera. Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? Doing stickers. Are you doing stickers? So far, so good. Um, just cooking some chicken, some gnocchi. The baby's still asleep. And all I can say is, thank God for YouTube. Is that itsy bitsy spider? Um, I'm just glad that Casper's decided to um, start watching a bit of TV in the last few months <laughs> because I feel like if he didn't, this would be really difficult. Um, but luckily, he does watch a bit of TV now, especially like nursery rhymes like this on YouTube. I know it's not great, but what can you do when you a mum of two. It's like I tell you, I'm not not putting it on just because um, it's not great. So just trying to survive the first morning as a mum of two. Right way. Casper hates the camera. Um, it is currently 20 past seven in the morning. Right, okay, calm, calm down. So Casper's already had breakfast. Um, he got up really early, like I knew he would because Josh got up early for work. And him and Casper share a bed in the night. So I knew that he'd be up early. So he came downstairs with Josh. And then when Josh came, like left the house at half five, he brought Casper back up to bed. Um, and he, he laid down for like 20 minutes and then he obviously decided he didn't want to do that so we had frozen on in our bedroom this morning and then we came downstairs about half six but I've been awake with this one since about 2am <coughs> um, she woke up for a feed at like one, half one and um, oh god I've got such a bad headache um she was just latching on and off i fell asleep with her on my chest sat upright then i tried to go back to sleep then she wanted to latch again and it's just been one of them where you don't really go back to sleep properly um but i literally cannot feed her today from my boobs because my nipples feel like they will drop off literally i feel like my nipples are like her cord and they will just go black and fall off they are so painful so i'm literally gonna have to just bottle feed her all day with formula and express milk um, and then do you want some more missy eh? do you want some more milk milk 
she wants more milk. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping my mum's here soon. Because <laughs> she usually comes for like half seven, eight to get Casper on a Thursday when I work. But obviously I'm not working, so I don't know what time she's going to rock up. But hopefully it won't be too late. And then I've got some friends coming this morning to see Indy. And then I'm just going to uh, just tidy up a bit and just chill out. I will probably will try and have a nap because obviously I've slept horrendous. So, yeah. Mum of two life has officially begun. Can we stay here forever? So this was my first proper evening alone with the two kids. So I tried doing a bit of drawing and things with Casper to keep him entertained before doing my first ever bath and bed, which surprisingly went quite well because all Linda did was sleep in her bouncer. But she was literally only a week old and that just doesn't happen every night now. I put your favourite song on just to wake you up. So we're watching Moana. Casper's had his porridge. We've had bum changes, um, I am pumping and I've cut my breakfast and I've also got a bottle to feed in day. So talk about multitasking this morning. Um, it's about 20 past seven now and we are going for a baby photo shoot for nine o'clock. So we need to leave the house at half eight. So after this, it's going to be... It's Indy, isn't it? Not Ivy. Ivy's your cousin. Be nice to her. Good boy. You're such a good big brother, aren't you? Um, yeah, so we need to leave the house in like an hour, all dressed and ready to go. So I'm just going to eat this breakfast and feed India a bottle and then we need to go get ready. So I'm just filming the odd bit on my phone because Casper does not like the camera. Um, and he always tries to steal off me. I look really weird because I feel like it's opposite to what I usually film. Um, but we've had... Yeah, so um, we've been for the photo shoot, haven't we? And Casper got involved. I'm just have to hide that ear. Uh, and he was actually really good. I was really shocked, but I think it's because it wasn't like me or Josh or my mum taking the photos. Um, so I can't wait to see those. It took ages to get Indy to sleep. Um, absolutely ages. But she's literally just asleep in there now. Um, and then me and Casper are just playing with this train track on the floor. It's so nice to actually sit on the floor again because when I was probably from 25 weeks pregnant, I just could not sit on the floor comfortably at all. I was obviously just massive and I was worried that he would like kick me or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's nice to just be able to sit on the floor as a proper mum. <laughs> so, so far, I'm definitely, definitely enjoying having a newborn or a toddler more than being pregnant and having a toddler because I just found that so tough, honestly. Um, so in an hour, I'm taking Casper to Josh's work. Josh is going to go take him to feed the ducks. <coughs> That's jam. That's jam in there, is it? Are you going to go feed the ducks with Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to feed them? Bread. Bread. Jam <laughs> Bread. You want to feed grandma bread? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Mum's Um, And then me and Indy have got an appointment at the hospital at 3pm. So, And then Casper's staying out at Josh's mum's tonight. He's sleeping at Nana's house tonight. No. You are? No. You are sleeping at Nana's? No. Nana's. Because um, Josh is up early in the morning. And he's going to be out for like five hours, so he just said that he'd get Casper to stay at his mum's. Obviously, while I was still trying to have a bit of a routine. Um, and I am quite tired. I feel like I've still not like picked up from labour and stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'm just going to keep playing with this with Casper until baby sister is awake. And then um, we'll get ready to leave the house. When I dance around, I can't help but feel it. Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If 
which is probably the worst things I've ever done because the road that it's on is so busy with roadworks. It's been like this for months and it's just getting worse and I completely forgot about it. Um, I was going to go to Starbucks. You can't even see me. But it's further down the road and I really just need to get a coffee and get to this hospital because Indy is not happy at all. Um, so it was bad of me to do this really but yeah I've just ordered a medium coconut milk cappuccino then I'm going to try and get this to this hospital like 15 minutes early and then I can feed her before we go in <laughs> from the hospital um, to this huge cherries <laughs> delivery um, on my doorstep. Um, so obviously I had my Costa, went into the hospital, Indy's put weight on which is great. Um, she was going to refer me to the breastfeeding clinic, like the local one, but she said there's not an appointment for 10 days and obviously I was like well I definitely will have quit by then. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go private to have a tongue tie checked but I thought I'd go through this box before Indy wakes up and before Josh gets home um, so this was gifted to me um, by Cherries but I do have a discount code for you guys which I will tag on the screen um, but if you've never heard of Cherries or shopped at Cherries it is a massive homeware slash it's basically like an online B&M and home bargains and um, they do everything so I have got a big box of stuff I don't even know I'm gonna put half of it so when I say they do everything I literally mean it and um, so I've got some highlighters for Casper um, I've also got some, I wanted to try and go through all the similar things. I've also got some pencils because he's really got into colouring at the minute. But we're just letting him use crayons because obviously he's not to be trusted with highlighters or felt tips. So I literally just got him some pencils. Um, I think that's it for stuff like that. And then for cleaning products. We've got some of the Fizz Fresh Toilet Bowl um, foaming things. I absolutely love these and I've got two packs of them as well. I've got a new Minke with Love Hearts on. I've got some of the Elbow Grease Power Cloth for just things like cleaning the oven and cleaning the um, hob. I've then got some glass and window surface wipes because the glass doors into the playroom are absolutely full of handprints um, from Casper. And I just thought instead of having to go and get the glass cleaner and the cloth out all the time, I will literally just leave these in the playroom, um, hidden out of the way, obviously. Um, I've got some of my favourite stainless steel, Sif spray. I love that stuff. I've got the Pink Stuff Bathroom Foam Cleaner. I've never actually used this before, so I'm really looking forward to using that. And I also got um, the toilet cleaner as well. Never used that either. So I just thought I'd try something different. Um, I've got two of the Glow White um, Dr. Beckham. What do you call it? Uh, you shove it in your washing machine with your whites. And it really, really helps keep the whites in. So you get three sachets in each box. And I've got two boxes. I've got my favourite Lenore crease release. Because I absolutely am obsessed with that stuff. 
um, I got some microwave and freezer wipes. Again, I'm a very lazy cleaner, always have been, probably always will be. Um, so wipes work fine for me. I've got a new dishmatic because we've not had one for ages, and then obviously some dishmatic sponges. Um, I've got some. Oh my god, they're so heavy. This is why this box is so heavy. Uh, I've got some Astonish all-in-one dishwasher tablets because who doesn't want dishwasher tablets? Because let me tell you, they are so expensive. Uh, what else have I got in here that I've not shown you? I've just got some toothpaste for me and Josh. When I say they do everything, like I actually mean it. Uh, I've got some Daily Shower Shine by Astonish, which is Hibiscus Blossom. Bought it because obviously we've got Indie Blossom. Um, just realised my top's wet from pumping in the car. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try that. I don't have enough room for it all. I don't know where it's going to go, to be honest. I've got this absolutely massive <laughs> fairy fabric conditioner. Um, so we use fairy tablets and comfort conditioner. But when I saw the size of this, and when I say it was 4 99 I literally mean it was 4 99 um, Obviously, it was gifted to me, but... I would pay 4 99 for that, like it's absolutely huge. It is, um, how many litres is it? It's 2,905 2, litres, so it's nearly 3,000 litres of, um, no, yeah, I don't know. It's nearly three litres of uh, fabric conditioner. So that's cleaning products done. Then I just got bits of chocolate for Casper. So I've just got some Kinder Bars and some Barneys because they're his favourite snacks. And then I've just got some Christmas chocolate to add into the kids' stocking fillers. So we've got obviously Casper, a niece and a nephew. So I've just got some Milky Bar and some Orange Smarties. Then got Casper some fruit shoots for the fridge. So we've just got strawberries, summer fruits and then apple and black currant. Um, I've got some glass straws I've always wanted some of these and as soon as I saw them I was like yeah I'm getting them because I do have some metal straws but the only thing is you can't see how clean they are inside so when I do drink out of them I am a little bit weary of the fact that they could be like mould or something in there so yeah I've got some clear glass straws and they come with a little brush as well so I'm really looking forward to using them with like even like hot chocolates and stuff great to drink out of a straw got a little book for Casper in the bath I don't think he'll enjoy it to be fair but it's counting and he's really into counting at the minute and um, it does say first steps bath book but it is all about um counting on the back and then i've got some of my favorite dove fake tan because i've nearly run out so this is just the moisturizing like gradual tan and then lastly i've got a dishwasher cleaner so some of these products are repeated in this box hence why i've not emptied the whole box but yeah, um, dishwasher cleaner. Can't go wrong with the dishwasher cleaner. So as I say, I've got a discount code which I'll tag on the description box below. But cherries literally do everything. So I'd definitely check them out. And if you download the app as well, because I've had the app for about a year now, you can collect points and then you can like discount your points from your next order. So when I went on to order, I had £10 of points to take off of all of this, um, which was really good. So yeah. Um, that is my cherries haul and now I've got to try and find somewhere for it all to live so it's Saturday now um, Indy is officially 11 days old I think officially asleep. she's officially asleep me and Josh are having our first ever festive Starbucks first ever? no it's, well first ever of the year yeah, so we're practically all members um, so members access early access get to choose a festive drink um they've not actually changed any of them they're the same as they were last year they've just got the standard caramel waffle toffee nut latte gingerbread latte eggnog latte and caramel then waffle were new last year wasn't it yeah yeah it's not a new one out last year so they must do it every other year yeah maybe or oh, maybe they just can't think of any <laughs> Um, but they've got like obviously cold brews and stuff like that which is new to the menu but not a new flavour if that makes sense. I did really want to try the toffee nut cold brew, I've heard it's really good but the weather is really miserable today so I just fancied a warm drink. So I've got the caramel waffle, Josh has got a toffee nut latte. Um, I mean I'm guessing you can order without being a member but then when 
you come to pay and you don't use your members thing, they'd probably be a bit like, you know, I remember. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just not on the board yet. So you only really know that they've got the drinks in if you remember, because we all get an email. <laughs> um, so we're just on the route to Sainsbury's now. We've got two sleeping kids in the car. Uh, we're having pizza for tea, so we're just going to go to Sainsbury's and get that. And we also need to get Casper a Halloween outfit. Because on Monday at nursery, he has got a Halloween party. Because Halloween actually falls on a Monday. So he's at nursery, so they said that the kids can go dressed up. And I'm not going to be that parent to send the child not dressed up if everyone else sends them dressed up. So I'll obviously just put some spare clothes in his bag in case no one else dresses the child up but i'm hoping that they have some sizes left um because they did have loads of outfits last week in fact when did i last go the other day they had loads as well there's also a football game on so it's absolutely rammed i've just stood in starbucks then for like 20 minutes but yeah we are now off into sainsbury's which is like our saturday family day out Right, so we watch that day first, and then you cast with me over here. You have to go like this, look. Okay? Casper, do it. Use the Spread bottom. Spread it, good boy. All the way to the edges. Do you want a spoon as well? Yeah. Good boy. Daddy, help though. Don't eat it. Not yet. It. it needs to go in the oven, doesn't it? Spread it out like this, look. Everywhere, get Make it sure everywhere. Make sure you get all down here. Get it all down here. Good boy. Wow. Helping Daddy. You yeah. helping Daddy? Daddy's helping you. Daddy's helping Casper make pizza. Isn't he? Pizza party. Pizza, pizza party. Pizza party. Are we having a pizza party? Yeah. Did pizza. you make your own pizza? Yeah. Are you eating your pizza that you made? You're such a big boy, aren't you? You having some of daddy's? Yeah. Wow. Aren't you lucky? Look at this. <laughs> Are you helping daddy? Come on, mister. Get your spoon in there, look. Get them seeds out. Get them. Scoop them out. That's it. In the bag. Good boy. Wow. Tomorrow. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but Wow. <gasps> it's Casper the Ghost. Oh my. One of the worst versions of Casper the Ghost ever. It's not hot. Sorry, I had to. Yeah, it's hot, isn't it? Who is that? Is that Casper the Ghost? Is that who you've got on your top? And you've got him on your top as well. Yeah. Faffa the Ghost. Oh, uh, no. Ghost Halloween, Faffa. So, guys, that was the end of the vlog. So, I finished filming on Sunday the 34th. 30th of October um, which was pretty much the first full week with Indy um, I didn't get any footage after this and I have since filmed another video so I didn't want to mix any footage up but yes thank you so much for watching guys um, please make sure you hit that subscribe button I would be so grateful and I will see you in my next video